The DHCP server feature on the AP4700 is designed to provide the DHCP IP address functionality to a network that does not have a DHCP server. This feature was not designed to act as a NAT router, nor does it have the ability to provide IP addressing to a VLAN segmented network. Caution! The DHCP server is designed to assign dynamic IP addresses to both Ethernet nodes and wireless clients simultaneously. Make sure that there are no other DHCP servers on the network and do not enable the DHCP server without checking with your network administrator first as it could disrupt normal network operations. Also, the AP must be configured with a static IP address before enabling this feature. To set up the DHCP server, a DHCP pool will first have to be added. To do so, click on Configure Network DHCP Server, go down to IP Pool Table and click Add. In the DHCP Server IP Pool Table, go ahead and add the start IP address, the end IP address, the default lease and the maximum lease times these are in seconds. If you're going to leave these blank, they're going to default to 86,400. Go ahead and click OK and then click the back button. The next step is to enable the DHCP server itself. Go ahead and place a checkbox on the enable DHCP server. Enter the gateway IP address, the primary DNS IP address and the secondary DNS IP address. Click OK and then reboot the AP. For more Proxim Support TV videos and access to our various support offerings, please visit support.proxim.com. If technical support is required, please call 1-866-674-6626 or open a ticket with us.